Hi, my name is Meredith Angel and I'm an eClinical Work Certified Implementation Specialist. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to link your ICD-10 problem list codes to SNOMED codes. Now, SNOMED codes are a new classification of coding that really help electronic health record systems communicate in the background because it is a common system. Many of you may have already seen these SNOMED codes pop up on your right chart panel or the ICW. I'm going to show you how to update that manually and automatically for all of the remaining problemless codes that need to be linked to SNOMED codes. So to start with, I'm in my office visit screen and I'm going to go into my patient. And like I said, many of you may have already been updating these because you've seen this bright red problem with SNOMED pop up. Now the missing codes are due to ICD-10 codes that were added in your system before the SNOMED codes became available, which was just within the last year and a half. Any problem with ICD-10 codes that you add moving forward will automatically have the SNOMED code linked. So you don't need to worry about this moving forward. However, it's for all of those ICD-10 codes that were added before the SNOMED classification became available. And SNOMED codes are very important for MIPS to get proper credit for some of those measures. So we really need to be updating them. Now, many of you may have been updating these problem list SNOMED codes manually by clicking into this area and having the problem list ICD-10 code linked to the SNOMED code and then saying, okay. Now that's a good way to do it for per patient but there's a way to do it for all of the patients who are missing SNOMED codes. And that way is found under Menu, Report, Report Console. Now, if you scroll towards the bottom, there's a SNOMED utility section. And you want to click this Auto Map SNOMED codes for all patient problem list entries with missing SNOMED codes. Clicking into that report, you want to change this apply for all patients. So what this is going to run is it's going to find any patient with an ICD-10 code on their problem list that's not linked to an SNOMED code and do that linking for you. So once you click the bubble for apply for all patients, click process missing SNOMED. And this report doesn't take long. You can run it during office hours. and it will be completed. Now in my test database, I don't have very many. You might have hundreds or even thousands of problem lists to be processed. So you can see that I had only four codes that needed to be mapped. And so it's already completed. Most of the time it usually takes about 30 seconds to a minute. And that's it. So if I came back into here into my patient, and I will also say there may be some codes it'll tell you if they're unmapped, that means that the system was unable to link that SNOMED code, so it looks like I have one. And you'll still have to do those manually. Now, those should be few and far in between, so you won't have to do it very often. But if I click this problem with SNOMED, you can see I have one missing here. So the very top one was unable to assign automatically, but if I click this blue assign, it will give me suggestions as to what SNOMED code that should be linked to. And I can click the one that I think best suits the description of my ICD-10 code, apply, save it. And now you can see the blue means that all the SNOMED codes have been linked to the ICD-10 codes on the problem list. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to our training department.